Baseball players insist that warming up with 16-ounce donuts increases their bat speed, and thus their power. But is it valid? Could all those players in the big leagues who use donuts be wrong? Do weighted warm-ups really increase your bat speed? To find out, our first guinea pig is collegiate batter Brian Burke. going to test whether swinging a weighted bat really does increase bat speed into this sweet spot. We have a regular baseball bat that uh, has been instrumented with some micro strain gyroscopes. So when you come around with the bat, we'll be able to see exactly how fast you're coming around. You all ready? Let's do it. Let's, right, let's play ball. To get a baseline reading, we first test Brian's swing without using weights to warm up. Brian takes 10 swings and averages 69 miles per hour on each one and routinely connects with this sweet spot. Now it's donut time. Will his bat speed increase? Tane, here's this. So how does it feel now? It feels a little lighter. I think uh, it feels a little better than the first time. Okay. With the weight on that one, so we'll see how it goes. So how did the weighted warm-up affect Brian's swing? Surprisingly, Brian's bat speed actually went down after swinging the weighted bat, from 69 miles per hour to just over 68. This slight reduction in speed does two things. First, slower bat speed means less force is transferred to the ball, which means he loses distance on the ball flight. Second, his timing is off. Our Phantom high-speed camera reveals that, on average, he misses the sweet spot by several inches. Instead of efficiently transferring energy to the ball, the vibration sends shock waves down the bat, transferring stinging energy to the batter's hands. Perry Husband is a pitching and hitting instructor who has spent years analyzing the physics of baseball. Our studies show that there is a slight amount of inability to hit, to get the fat part of the bat to the ball at exactly the right time. Let's take a closer look at why swinging a weighted bat might decrease your bat speed and harm your swing. Swinging a weighted bat is supposed to help a batter feel faster at the plate. But during those warm-ups, the muscles in the arms and shoulders are being trained to contract slower. And when muscles contract at a slower pace, they use more red, slow-twitch fibers, which specialize in endurance, instead of white, fast-twitch fibers, which fire two to three times faster. So by using weights to warm up, a batter is actually priming the wrong muscles to do the job. So by warming up with a weighted bat, a player is actually doing more harm to his game than good. So is that true for all sports? What about sports where the ball isn't moving, like golf? To find out, we head to the Titleist Performance Institute in Oceanside, California. Performance guru Greg Rose will analyze the swings of PGA golfer Dave Phillips. Well, the beautiful thing about here is we've got our launch monitor, and we can actually prove if this works or if it doesn't work. Let's do it. OK, let's go. First, we run a baseline test, having Dave warm up without weights. So bad. So we've got 160 mile an hour ball speed. The ball carried 262 yards. That's pretty good. Dave launched balls at 161 miles per hour, which carried an average of 254 yards per drive. 
Now it's time to try a weighted warm-up with two clubs. Okay, let's do it now. Okay. You ready? Okay. Well, this club feels really light now. Well, it felt faster. Felt faster? Yeah. All right, so we got the radars picking up the ball. Dave's swing doesn't look much different after the weighted warm-up. But there's one crucial difference. You said it felt lighter and felt like it was going it faster. Did, definitely. Feel and real aren't always the same thing. The average after you swung the weighted club was 162.7. It didn't change the ball speed a ton, but it definitely changed distance. If your thought is, okay, let's swing a weighted club before my first tee, mm -hmm. it's gonna cost you 30 yards of carry on the first it's tee. It's the last thing you wanna do on the first tee. Just like in baseball, the weighted warm-up throws off timing and technique. And Dave misses the sweet spot. Missing the sweet spot by a few millimeters costs Dave an average of 30 yards off the tee. And if it makes such a big difference for a pro, imagine what a difference those millimeters can make for the rest of us. So whether you're batting or driving, when warming up, our advice is to lose the weight.